Everybody go through that part in life, through that journey in life, where life just be kicking your ass and you be saying to yourself, I, I want to get back up. And it'd be hard for you to get up. It'd be hard. Don't think that, listen, this only happened to you. No, it happened to everybody. It happened to me. It happened to everybody who sees successful. It happened to people, right? It happened. But just know that's momentary. That shit is momentarily. That life is going to kick your ass. So you're going to get back up. You're going to be stronger than you've ever been before. So if you go through that situation right now, and you went through it before, reconnect with the energy that you utilized to come up out of that situation that you was in and come up out of it again. Listen, man, we human beings. Ain't nobody out here perfect. Every, like I always say, everybody stink and smell, you know, it got different smells, but it stink and ain't nobody perfect. We're going to go through the, you know, the low moments of life, but we're going to get back up again and everybody got a shout out here. Guess what? You woke up this morning, you breathing and breathing and it's winning. It's just like that. <sighs> no cap. No bat. Welcome back, YouTube. <laughs> Welcome back, Jedi Film. Before we start, make sure you guys smash the like button and subscribe if you guys are new so you don't miss out on any of this great content. You feel what I'm saying? Now listen, y'all see from the title, I'm giving you guys a few tips on going to your first ride out. I'm gonna get you guys ready. We're getting closer to the nice weather. You know, we're getting closer to summer. Everybody gonna be outside on their bike. So I gotta prepare you guys so you guys don't go out there looking like a worm. You feel what I'm saying? So without further ado, Let's jump into this. Tip number one, you're gonna wanna stay towards the back, bro. Especially if this is your first ride out, stay right towards the back. You wanna sit back and observe. Watch how a ride out actually operates, how everybody moves, what's going on. Stay towards the back, especially if it's your first one. If it's your first one and you go to the front of the pack, niggas is telling you to go to the back, bro. They're gonna scream at you and tell you to go to the back anyway. So I'm saving you the hassle, the headache, the drama. Just stay in the back. You don't gotta be exactly in the back, but stay towards the back, bro. Don't get in nobody's way. Sit back, watch, observe how the ride out operates. You wanna watch. Stay towards the back. Tip number one. Tip number two. Tip number two. You're gonna wanna stay with somebody you know. Either it's somebody you came with, or it's somebody, it's just somebody you know in general. You want to stay with somebody you know because if something goes wrong you want somebody there with you you feel what i'm saying if something happens to your bike or just something in general you fall something like that you want somebody with you also you want to stay with somebody from that area especially if you're going to a different city so if you're going to a different city make sure you're with somebody who knows the area be like yo hey you from here uh uh, uh. if they are be like yo can i stay with you this is my first ride out i'm a new rider can i stay with you they're gonna be like yeah sure of course why not you feel what i'm saying that's all you gotta do that's it stay with somebody you know and also stay with somebody who knows the area it's gonna help you it's gonna save you from something you never know you know what i'm saying but that's tip number two stay with somebody you know and stay with somebody who knows the area bam all right let's move on though um tip number three listen this goes for everybody though new riders um existing riders veteran riders listen you gonna want to stay on p stay on point at these ride outs at the meetup at the gas station while you're in the pack stay on point because 12 is lurking bro they're in marked vehicles they're in unmarked vehicles they're they're everywhere there could be an informant in the pack bro you oh. never know there can be an imposter right next to you on a bike in a pack that could be 12 you don't know stay on p bro make sure you watching observing you don't want to get caught lacking. This, this, this is why I'm bringing you this video. So you don't get caught lacking. You feel what I'm saying? I don't want you out there getting caught, snatched up, bike took all this and that. Like, nah, we we not going for that. We not doing that 2023. If somebody don't, if somebody look a little off, they, they, most likely it's 12, gang. You know what I'm saying? Most likely it's 12. So keep your eyes open. That's number three. Stay on P. Let's move on now. This tip right here, this is a uh, this is a key tip because this could happen to anybody. So, um, tip number four: keep an eye on your gas, bro. Gotta keep an eye on your gas. Know your bike. Keep checking your gas level because if you run out of gas, that's your ass. Oh. If you run out of gas, that's your ass. Especially if you're in the back, they're not hearing you scream, bro. That's why I said stay with somebody you know. But keep an eye on your gas bro because if you run out of gas and you gotta get help from somebody else be on the side of the road somewhere 12 pull up boom you're getting arrested 
your bike getting took. Like, it's it's quiet. It's quiet, bro. Keep an eye on your gas levels. Know your bike. Throughout the ride, I'll just keep checking it. Like, whoever's leading the pack, they're going to stop at gas stations. But it's your job, your job, to keep an eye on your gas levels, bro. Let's move on, y'all. This is the last tip. I feel like this is this goes more for new riders. You know what I'm saying? Um, Or just people who don't know. You know what I'm saying? But um, you want to know your hand signals. Two hand signals you want to know. The first one is when you see riders tapping their head. That means heads up, the cops are somewhere. They're nearby. So you're gonna wanna stay on P. So when you see somebody tapping their head, look around. You're gonna wanna do the same thing too cause you gotta give the signal to whoever's behind you. It's like a chain reaction. It goes from the front to the back. It could go from the back to the front. One rider lets the next rider know like, yo, 12 is right there or right there. Who knows, they're somewhere. The last hand signal. Um, When you see riders go like this, this means slow down, come to a stop. That's what that means. Simple as that. Slow down, come to a stop. Either the uh, the leader of the pack is slowing the pack down, they're coming to a stop, or some maybe somebody fell in the middle of the pack. You never know. When you see this, this means slow down, come to a stop. That's tip number five. Know your hand signals. But listen, those are my five tips for going to your first ride out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, take notes. Take notes. Share this with somebody. Somebody needs this information. Somebody somewhere needs this information. They've never been to a ride out. They're a new rider. They're going to a ride out when it gets nice out. They're getting their first bike. Share this video with them. Keep them safe. Also, keep them from looking like a worm. You feel what I'm saying? You don't want to go to the to the ride out looking like a worm. Going to the front of the pack. This is your first ride out. You're going to the front of the pack, getting screamed at. You don't want to be running out of gas. You don't want to be there by yourself. You know what I'm saying? This is what I'm here for. To prepare you guys for your first ride out. Somebody out there needs this video. So share this video. You feel what I'm saying? But listen. Those are my five tips. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the like button. Uh, subscribe if you guys are new. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog, y'all. Peace.